Now, you probably remember this story here. A woman is alive and recovering after she was struck by lightning outside of the White House. Three others were hit, and she is the only survivor. Tonight, we hear from a doctor who's still helping her bounce back despite the odds. She spoke to our Matthew Torres. When you think you've seen it all, it's easy to expect the expected. But for Dr. Taryn Travis... This is all we do. We just do burn care. What she saw two weeks ago here at the MedStar Health Burn Center was nothing short of a medical marvel. Really a, a remarkable thing that she survived it all. She was one of many providers to help treat Amber Escudero Contostadis, the sole survivor of the intense lightning near the White House that struck four people underneath the tree. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of volts. And so we're just in a totally different ballpark than what we see normally as clinicians. The amount of light Electricity. I think it was like six strikes in half of a second. This 28-year-old survivor spent days in the trauma center and burn intensive care and recovery units. She's doing better than expected, but still has burns along the left side of her body. My toes to my um, hips basically feel like pins and needles. The other effects of lightning are things that we don't know that well. I think that what happens with Amber in the future will really inform us what we can expect from other people who have this problem. Dr. Travis says we'll likely never know the exact reason why she made it. It's not just that she was a young, healthy person because there was a young, healthy counterpart who didn't make it. And so I think that there was certainly some luck involved for her, probably some physics related to the lightning and then obviously great care that she got. But above all, it's the immediate care that likely helped the most. Two traveling nurses who happened to be nearby began CPR, reviving her twice. I really have no words. They're just the most amazing people. And it's why we do it. And to have a really good story like this makes some of the tougher stories worth it. At a place where many have seen a lot, recovery like hers is a pleasant update they don't always expect. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.